Well, the budget session of Parliament has begun and we have less than 24 hours to go for the Union Budget. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and her team at the North Block posing for a photo op today ahead of the big day tomorrow. Now, important, the cryptocurrency bill has not been listed on the agenda for this session. Remember, the crypto bill was listed for the last monsoon session of Parliament, but it was never introduced. Amendments to the banking laws also not listed on the agenda. So that's key as well. Remember, uh, this was a budget commitment made in the last budget, but we've seen no legislation of action on that front and it is not listed on the agenda for the budget session. Sapna Das spoke with the new Chief Economic Advisor Anantha Nageshwaran on the economic survey and what we can expect from the budget. We, it's, as, we, as you all know very well, we are in an uncertain situation. So, and, and that is exactly what Sanjeev mentioned by the barbell strategy. You have to be, okay, you have to be both agile as well as uh, reactive and that's what the government is doing. So it is, it is it's a very fluid situation and I think the government will respond as the situation evolves. Agile policy making is the need of the hour. Key macro numbers have been announced today before the budget. The economic survey is forecasting a GDP growth of 8 to 8.5 percent for FI23, even as the NSO has revised the FI20 GDP lower to 3.7 percent from 4 percent earlier. The FI21 GDP has been revised higher to minus 6.6 percent from minus 7.3 percent earlier. Lata joins us now with more. Lata, will this have any bearings at all? Yes, it is raining forecasts and revisions just before the budget. But just to put things in perspective, the economic survey forecast of an 8 to 8.5 percent GDP growth for FI23 has been extremely well received by economists. They believe it is a very practical and credible assumption. Uh, the statement that there is fiscal space, uh, space for capex is greeted with both a bit of positivity and a bit of worry. Uh, there is no mention of any popular schemes uh, in the economic survey. In fact, it gives no hint about the budget. But uh, there is a worry that the UP polls may force the government to announce some popular schemes. And so if both capex and popular schemes are uh, catered to, some sections of the market worry whether fiscal prudence uh, may not be adhered to. But that's a very minor segment of the market. Speaking of revisions, uh, what the NSO has done is it has revised the FI20 GDP lower and the FI21 GDP higher. Uh, what economists are concluding is that probably the pandemic hurt is more than we uh, estimated earlier in FI20, but the rebound of the economy was also much stronger than what the NSO estimated, which is why FI21 has been revised higher. But neither will impact the budget numbers because the budget numbers are based on high frequency data. They will not change it just a day before uh, the budget because of the earlier revisions. So it's not going to, uh, these revisions of uh, 20 and 21 will not impact the budget. All right, Lata, many thanks. So no impact expected. Up next, stock markets rally on the eve of the budget for the first time in three years. That and more when we return.